Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video I was asked to go take on the Primordial Malzino with the Switch Axe, which I realised I haven't done on video, so I may as well. Here are my augments once again, all of these are the same as one that I used the other day, using a Dragon Con 3 with a 3 and a 2 slot. Also, this augment was mentioned, I don't use any mods to cheat in my gear, I just got stupidly lucky with it, and it's honestly not even that good of an augment, because using skills plus you automatically lose 7 elemental resistance. Which is not great for a dragon conversion build. And here are the skills and decorations. All these green numbers here are from decorations. And yeah, let's go take on the Hazard Malzino once again. Alright buddy. I don't know how this will go. I feel like I just need to choose my time to be in sword mode. And make sure I use wire step properly. Because uh, there's going to be a lot of occasions where I don't get to land too much damage. Unless we get like staggers and stuff, but generally speaking, not happen all that often. He's a pretty decent size for once. He's usually pretty big on these videos for some reason. But that's okay. Single swipe into a morph. Into another counter. There. Oh, all of it missed. Okay, that's fine. Get out of there. Oh, okay. Quick one into double swing. Into a counter. There. Nice. Hit those arms. He's hit. As I said last time I fought him, his head actually has a ridiculously big hitbox. So you get a pretty decent opportunity to hit his head. Pretty much all the time. Nope. Get away. Again, go to Axe, so you're a lot more mobile. Get behind him. Can counter this. Ah, too slow. I thought I'd done it quick enough, but that's okay. Get out of there. Shield slam? No shield slam. Perfect. Can get over to him. A couple swings into the counter. There. Okay, nice. Quick double swing. Hop to the side. That shouldn't have touched me, but that's okay. Again, we don't want to be in sword when we have to actually dodge something. It's not good at all. Counter. There. Nice. Ooh. Quick double swing. And then morph. Wire step through that. Morph to cancel. Morph again. Get wire bug. Or get the amp gauge back. At least. Shield slam, thank you. Beautiful, he still hit me unfortunately, but that's okay. Get behind him. Into a counter. There we go. Some free damage, got a part break as well. Nope, get out of there. Again, axe, really mobile mode. It's real good. There, okay, he's gonna shield slam. Or not, it's fine. Up swing, into a counter. There. I was too close to him. Go into axe. Oh, nice stagger. Try and knock him down. ZSD maybe. Grab onto him. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yep. Oh, we might card here. Oi! Yep, 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 yep. I expected. <sighs> the really late phase. Unfortunate. I tried to hop through it. It's gonna do projectiles, so we get some gauge. Stay in axe once again. You want to be mobile for this. Double sweeps. We can hit him. Couple swings. Counter. We staggered, unfortunately. Oh, that's a bit sketchy. Why step? Oh, I thought I had enough amp gauge. That's fine. That into cross slash. Get away. Get some swings real quick. Counter. The hyper armor should stay long enough in case the tail hits you. Morph back into it again. Get some quick hits while he's sitting here. Ah, I tried to roll through it. It's alright. Yep, that's fine. Go into sword or into axe. So we're mobile once again. Get out of there. Okay, double swing. Oh, that's unfortunate. Why step? Yeah, that's all I could do. At least I avoided the big chunk of damage there. Blasters. Yep. Quickly morph back to him. Balls. Go into... Oh! Axe. Why I step that. Get over to his face. Should be on the left. There we go. Unfortunately we just lost our amp gauge, but that's okay, in all honesty. Get some more swings going. Build up all that damage we can. We're not too worried about getting straight to amp there, because it's much better to just get damage. Counter the raw. Because he's going to raw off that. We did a lot of damage to him. 
get out of there. Again, we want to be an axe, so we're mobile. Okay, no, no, no. Once again, axe. Counter this. Should be able to hit him with some of it, which we did. Double swing real quick. Why step through that? Morph to cancel, morph again to get some gauge. And morph so we're in axe. There we go. Should come towards us. There we go, get some damage. There's the mount. Um, we do have a water blight actually, that's quite advantageous. Means we get good uh, hit zones, or better hit zones at that. So we'll definitely take those. Oh my god, you steer so badly, what is this lad? Maybe, nah, we're not making it, that's fine. Get down to him, into sword, into damage. Because we have nowhere to do damage there with our wire bugs. So we may as well counter. There. Okay, I press the button, that's fine. Couple swings into that, and wire step. I wire step there because even if we miss the dodge, we actually got our axe mode active. So we are drastically safer. Ibuki, thank you. That was actually so lucky that Ibuki was in Kitnator mode there because uh, you usually don't get a chance to hit him outside of his nuke there. And he's still bound, so he shouldn't... He's nuking. Oh, no he's not. Do it there. Yep, there it is. Get my amp gauge. I'm fine tanking a hit here. Why step? Okay, there we go. We're in axe. Just roll away. Again, roll. We're in axe. We're plenty safe. Get back into axe once again. Nope. Forward. I think we can counter this. I'm not too sure on this one, but we're going to try it. Okay, we can counter it. Beautiful. Get over to the... You want to hit him in the chest. It's his best hit zone. So you want anything to happen except what happened to me. Okay, counter it so we don't take damage. Morph over to him and stay in axe. Always go to the left of that tail if you can as well. Again, stay in axe. Just quick morphs. Okay, nope. Didn't go far enough, thank you. Roll. And max pot. Nuking. Good, he did the nu good nuke. So happy he did the good nuke. Because he's got two variations of this. One of them's a little bit harder to dodge. And one of them's a lot easier, obviously. This one's the easiest one, because he does this way more often. Get away. And go forward. Get a quick couple hits. Into the counter. There. Please don't go past him again. Bro, that sucks so much! What? Mm, okay, I, I don't know much more of a triggering thing than that happening. And it doesn't happen with any other weapon. Okay, why did I do that? Dodge it. Okay. Should do Super Slam. No? Rishomu, okay. Just dive. Nice and easy. Mm, wind pressure, why? I praise you on your hitboxes so often and you treat me like this. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, that's about my luck with this game. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Why did he do that to me? I get I was walking the wrong way, but come on. There you go, there's Primordial with the Switch Axe. As I said to pretty much every comment that's asked me to see, ask me to do Primordial with the Switch Axe, should definitely go watch BD Brian. He's done so many runs with Primordial, specifically using Switch Axe and a few other weapons. Can learn way, way, way more off it. Well everybody, that was another requested hunt, this time the Primordial Malzino with the Switch Axe. It's not too bad of a matchup in all honesty. I just think I'd rather have some Evade Window or something like that, or maybe just use Wire Step more often. As always though, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.